Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have a grocery haul for you. I did Walmart grocery pickup. I spent $96.46, but about $30 of that was for uh, some non-food items. I didn't need a whole lot of groceries this week. As I've mentioned on my past couple grocery hauls, I'm trying to cook for my freezers uh, as much as possible. So most of what I got today are things for me to make like cookies and candies and like I said, the non-food items. So let me show you what I got. First up, I got this water jug. This was about $15, but it's really worth it. It's great quality. It does a great job keeping things hot and cold. My husband had one before and loved it. Then I got some wax paper and parchment sheets for cookies and things like that. I got this classic Christmas DVD. I love these old time things and watching them every year. I got some Fritos Honey Barbecue Twists and then a bottle of the Hidden Valley Ranch Coleslaw Mix. I've never tried this brand, but this is for a recipe that a subscriber sent to me. I got some almond bark, the chocolate and vanilla for coated pretzels and crackers. I have a video on how I make this. I'll link that down below. Then I got a couple bell peppers, a couple Roma tomatoes, some onions, a red onion, and then these huge ginormous sweet potatoes. I got one regular russet potato for a recipe. Then some iceberg lettuce for sandwiches and salads, some coleslaw mix, baby spinach for wraps and salads. And then I got one banana. I don't know why. I don't even remember getting it, but I guess I must have thought we needed a banana. And I got two bags of sweet potatoes for Happy's food. I got a box of rotini pasta for a couple different pasta salads. Then I got a box of corn squares and rice squares. This is basically just Czech cereal. I'm going to make some homemade Czech mix. That's in that same video of the uh, chocolate covered pretzels, which again will be linked down below. I got the spinach mission tortilla wraps for lunches this week. Then I got two blocks of cheddar cheese for a couple different recipes. I got a package of this Reese's peanut butter cookie dough to make some peanut butter blossom cookies. My husband loves those. I got some turkey deli meat, some of this garden vegetable cream cheese spread. I like to make wraps with those spinach wraps, the turkey and that cream cheese spread. I got a couple packs of cream cheese for a few different recipes. I got some sour cream. And then I got this small little thing of crescent rolls. My husband requested chocolate crescents. I got this from Amanda over at Faith Food and Family, and I've made these a couple times, and they are so delicious and so incredibly super easy. I'll have that linked in the description box below. So like I said, he requested it, and so I grabbed this little can because it makes four, so the perfect amount for us for a treat. And then I got this package of pre-cooked chicken for one of the pasta salads that I'm making for lunch. All right, that's everything that I got from Walmart. Let me show you our meal plan for the upcoming week. Here's the meal plan for the upcoming week. So for Monday night, we're doing skillet lasagna. I loosely follow the Pioneer Woman's recipe on that. Haven't made it in a while, but it's really easy and yummy. Tuesday is a carryover from last week. I am making turkey pot pie and a salad. Wednesday, we're making teriyaki chicken skewers with coconut rice. Thursday, I'm making cheddar chowder using some of the leftover ham from Thanksgiving. And we'll probably do some rolls. I have some uh, homemade rolls in my freezer that I need to use up. Friday, so okay, I had tacos on the meal plan already, just, you know, regular tacos, but one of my sweet subscribers sent me a recipe to try. I think it's called like coleslaw tostadas or something like that, but when I looked at the recipe, I basically had either everything on hand or I was planning on buying it anyway for the tacos, and I just needed the coleslaw mix and the Hidden Valley dressing mix, or yeah, the dressing. So I went ahead and grabbed that so I can make those. So I'm excited to give that a try. I'll be sharing that in my what's for dinner video. Saturday, we'll either go out to eat or we'll do something quick from the freezer. And then on Sunday, I have some Funfetti pancake mix that I want to use up. So we'll probably just do breakfast for dinner. And a quick reminder, or just in case you're new to my channel, um, although these are listed in date order, I don't always follow them in exact date order. I just like to plan these out by day. So I know when to thaw things, when to marinate things. It just kind of helps me be organized. But if we don't feel like having something on a particular night, I just move things around or, you know, pull stuff from my freezer, what I have on hand. All right, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.